So we were just about to walk to the market and I saw this pretty, pretty sunset. No, I'm not talking about this one. That's my pretty one, but this one is the sunset that I'm referring to. So yeah, we're going to go to the market. We'll give you a little tour of the walkthrough of the Ababa wet market. And it's about, oh, I don't know, 5.30 p.m. So there's lots of great things going on. We've got this street hustler here selling his, his street hustler quesadillas and hot dogs and sandwiches and ulti meats. Yeah, and everybody's looking at it because it looks delicious. <laughs> YouTube. YouTube, yeah. Yes. And all day, hi. We're going here to the Ababa Cordova wet market. And everybody's very friendly and nice. And this is the back entrance to the place where we go. And this is where we're going to buy our fish and our veggies. But um, came here before and tried to make a video, but there wasn't very many people here, so I've got to show you how it's like in the evening time when everybody is here. Look at all those fresh fruits, and the prices are just right, you know, compared to America, especially. Uh, we're going to go through the meat section. I don't usually buy the meat here because um, I like it refrigerated. I mean,. I have bought it before and it's been fine, but I really, really prefer it um, to be refrigerated. But it's very, very good, nice and fresh. This is the Ababa Cordova Fish Market. Now we're gonna enter into the fish section. This is where all the magic happens. You get your fresh fish and your fresh shrimps and your scallops. Delicious. Uh, you can see here. Hi! You can see here all of it. This guy's got some fresh crabs going on. Look at those fresh crabs. Very good. I have to see this. Look at all these varieties of fish. Very nice. Nice and fresh. And they got some eels and some swordfish. And. Yummy. This way, and we go back this way. We're gonna head back through because this is the main line, so I want to show you everything. And I forget the name of those fish, but those are my favorites. This one's really good. And yes, let me get those kalungong and and third. Hello, are, are those scallops there? Scallops. Yes. Scallops. Uh, Kila, kilo. 200. 200? Oh, um, one half kilo. One half, 100. Yeah, that's a good. Very nice. I, I like the scallops. What kind of fish are these ones? Uh, Carabalias. Carabalias, huh? Carabalias. All right. What, what about these ones here? We're getting a, look at this, we're getting a ki, half kilo, which is one pound of scallops for, huh? One half. For, for basically less than two dollars. Can you believe it? You just cannot get that anywhere in the States. So good prices and so fresh. You know, they catch them. Look at this, there's a, a tuna fish right there, fresh. Excellent. What is that? Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Yes, good night. Look at that one. Whoa. Yellowfin. Yellowfin. What's this? Oh, Lapu Lapu again. Okay, sorry. I remember now. Lapu Lapu. He's the one that def defeated Magellan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the crabs. I'm making a YouTube video. YouTube. That's right. Look at all these fresh fish. We have to get over on this side and, and uh, 
check out this yellowfin tuna right here. Look at this. Fresh cut yellowfin. We got squid. And more scallops back there. It's cool because we don't usually find the scallops. We get clams a lot, but we don't normally find the scallops. It must have been a good day for scallops because everybody's got a, a variety of them. Looky here. Got some weird looking fish. What's this? Lifty. What? Lifty. Lifty? Whoa. Oh, interesting. It's pretty. Oh, very pretty. It is a pretty one. Looks delicious. And all over here, we've got the parrot fish. I haven't tried the parrot fish before, but. Oh, that looks like a carp. Oh, look at these ones. Interesting. Wow. So I always like to come here and look at all the different shapes of fish. And different styles of fish and crabs. It's delicious, but... Now we're going to enter into the vegetable section where everything is fresh and lovely. Look at all these coconuts. My goodness. Delicious. So... Where's the malungai? There. There? Let's get some malungai. Mmm. Here? Oh, malungai! Oh, well... I don't know. How much do we need? 20. Let's buy 20. How, how much should I give you? Like, well, how much is 20 words like? Oh, is that too much? More? Oh, we'll never eat more than that. How about just that for 20? Yes. Only 10? Only 10? Okay. Sounds good to me. What a good deal. So malungai is a nice herb. It's very healthy and good for you. And um Oh yeah, the doggy back there. Very cute. Oh, I don't know how to cook it. Together. Together? Mm. I'll, I'll have to look on Google and find a recipe. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Look at all these fresh vegetables. Very delicious. Very, very delicious. We are headed towards our favorite veggie man because we need some eggs and everything. So here we are. Hey, how are you? Did you see the YouTube video? Yeah? Hi. Is this, are you Emma? You are Emma. Well, nice to meet you. We've been here a few times. We um, filmed and put your veggie stand on YouTube. Did you see that? Yes. We want to get um, one, uh, 240 tray. We want a tray of 240. It says 240. Huh? Oh, for the carton? Okay. Uh, what else were we coming here for? Everything? We need everything? Okay. We need lots. Basket, okay, I gotta put this down somewhere over here. Well, look at all the hustle and bustle of the, um, the Bao Bao wet market. 
Very busy. Everybody's very friendly. Good prices, fresh foods. Very good. Okay, so now we have to do some shopping. So, let's get some potatoes. Some potatoes and some carrots. I like the one with the weird... It has, it's cute. It's a cute one, see? Yeah, we gotta get the cute one. And then we have to get, um, do, do we still have ginger or do we need? Yeah, I guess we need. We need some? Like the, like that like one? Yeah. Look at that fresh ginger, mmm. Ginger is life. And we need some tomatoes. I like the green ones, because then they get... Well, let's buy one red one so we can plant it. We a red one. I plan on planting some tomatoes. And let's get a... A sealy or whatever you call that. Did you get onions? Yeah, I already did. That's it? What about calamansi? Do we need calamansi? Yeah. This is the fresh calamansi. Uh, we got it. All right, let's get some twenty-five. Hi, Goldie. Goldie. So Emma, are these your sons? No, just your helpers? Yeah. How many carrots do you have? I only got one, the cute one. Let's get another one. It's not your son? But that's your daughter. No? Your daughter? Granddaughter. Friend. Neighbor girl. No. What are you? Huh? Okay. <laughs> All righty. So is that everything? Okay, that's everything except for, uh, did she get some of this? Okay. How about this one? What? Mongo? Cabbage. Cabbage? That's a good one. Oh, it's getting better. Okay, we'll get a, a cabbage also. All right. So look at all these fresh eggs. People say, um, how come the eggs aren't in the refrigerator? Well, the reason why is because in the United States we pasteurize everything. So we will spray the eggs, which takes off the protective shell. And then the eggs can be, you know, penetrated with bacteria and whatnot. But in the Philippines, you don't need to refrigerate them because they haven't been pasteurized. So you can literally put these in your cupboard for like two weeks. I know, it sounds crazy, but you will not get sick. So, very good. We got the little Goldie dog here shopping for veggies. Shouldn't like it. This is a lot of people. But she'll get used to it. So we got all this food for 647 peso, which included the fresh eggs, and we got everything that you need, which is um, a little over 10, what is that, like $11.50 for everything. Can't beat it. It's all fresh and organic. So we got all of our stuff. And now we are exiting the Babao Cordoba wet market. It's always a good experience. 
spend less than twenty dollars and get five days worth of food. It's great. Excuse me, sorry. Excuse me, guys. Oh, apologize. Thank you. And that is the end of the tour.